I killed yeah, like, him. Uh, oh shit! You, you just killed him. Like yeah. killing him in the Gauntlet of Shard doesn't doesn't make it impossible to talk him to help you out in Act Three. Uh, funnily enough, but helping him out in the Gauntlet of Shard makes it a lot easier. Like in my playthrough, I did everything I could to help out your your gear, and when I got to the Raphael fight, I didn't even need to like talk say anything to him. Like your gear, like Raphael was just like, "All right, your gear, kill him," and your gear was like, "No." Uh, because I like. He was just on my side from the start. And I bit him because I was like a charisma character that I couldn't beat him, and then like he's gone forever because he broke his deal. Uh, Devils, yo. Um, devil, devil moment. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Richard. We've been talking Baldur's Gate for about a while. Minutes. Uh, are we uh, not a lot of people today? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Should we give it a shot? Do you love choice? Yeah, so what it's a lot of it's dealer's choice. We, we're four. Dealers, dealers, dealers call. Uh, yeah. I thought a bigger party would help. Maybe we should just go and give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? We do. Death. We don't have Sky with us. Well, that's a problem. Yes, I can, so I can, we are. We can bring anybody back to life. Did we? Should we want to try a shot? Um, and we're scared. I, th I think let's give it a go. But um, yes, um, I have been stood up for James Blunt, which is literally the worst insult you can come up with. <laughs> I mean, that is quite rough. I mean, I'm sorry. I'd rather see James Blunt. Said no one ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I mean, said uh, Sky and a friend. Yeah, but I, I, I guess the uh, final, final thing on the Baldur's Gate talk. I was like, no, no, your, your, your gear is probably one of my favorite characters in the game too. I just love him. Like, when, when, oh when, yes. It, 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 in not me, mean to each other context. He's very much the kind of like, he doesn't really care about fighting you or serving Raphael. He's kind of just like a better, very much a thr thrill of the hunt kind of character. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, out of respect, just... I'll give my five feet from uh, from Tomlin. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, oh. what about me? I'll just keep like I just place my character like five feet from you just to oh, wait, I respect our boundaries. <laughs> I haven't even launched roll twenty. Yeah, but also. Uh, uh, Okay. Sorry, I got here so late. I stayed up a little bit last night. I literally, I literally woke up, checked my phone, and saw that message being like, "Where everyone at?" I was like, "Oh shit!" I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Wait, what time is it your side? Uh, what? Seven minutes till two in the afternoon right now. Oh. Uh, sorry. I told Chinese students for a bit. The, the favorite part was, "What time is it where you are now?" That's their favorite game. Yeah, no, like, I woke up, I woke, I woke up at like w w 1 in the afternoon or something like that. <laughs> Master's English language sentence. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, okay, okay. Focus. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Cars for everybody. Can somebody kill us, please? It's only decks of cards loaded in this thing that we haven't even gotten to. Oh, really? We, we retconned the, the one that we did. Yeah, because my character died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a it's late at night, wanna go for it for the hell of it, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah my, proper character, my proper character token is loaded now in all its glory. Yes. I mean, it looks bloody great. I, I, I took it from a Hearthstone card and I zoomed in on the face. No. <laughs> Real. Looks pretty great. Alrighty, oh, so... It gives us an opportunity to, uh, to explore this room to, 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 get, to get going. Finally, yes. Okay, so we'll say for the purpose of this um, little adventure, um, Sky is sitting with the piano, looking sad. With um, three of our new friends, our dwarf and our two tabaxis. Uh, so, does, does it look, from a narrative point of view, as if uh, as if the music they're playing is kind of like entranced? 
as of like uh you could kind of somehow the song is is just really like keeping him there i think could you please give me an insight check on that one i'm not just yeah, someone that's gonna ch tell you you gotta roll for it <laughs> i uh I don't trust all the instruments in this place. The organ, maybe maybe this uh, piano is doing something. What yeah. does the piano that shapes reality, so... Well, I, I gotta say, in hindsight, calling an organ an organ was a bad idea, because some, some of y'all ain't mature. Um, <laughs> uh, who, 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 who made the joke? <laughs> Megan, Megan, Alex and Megan. Um, oh, man. <laughs> of course, hold on, give me a sec. Whoa! One day I will roll a, One day I will roll an insight check in the double digits. All right. So looking over at the bunch of them at the piano, they look totally fine. <laughs> Dude, they're <laughs> fine. They're, yeah, they're fine. fine. Uh, they look all right. For the people following at home, the rolls were a nine, a seven, and a three. <laughs> Good rolls. Great rolls. Yeah, I, I mean, Great rolls. I'm quite happy that. All right. So that's guys making friends that fast. All right. So let's just um, um, set the scene quickly. Here. Oh, sorry. I, I think I spoke over you there. No, Wait. no, continue. Set uh, the scene, please, Mr. Dale. Uh, sorry. All right, okay. So you're on sec the second floor of Tasha's house. Um, it's a sort of more cozy little area you're in now. There's a, a small full poster bed um, that shows signs of... Um, black oblivion corruption being there there's a scary statue in the corner of a demon prince um that's where you found your friends floating um yeah i'm there sure are... i did say what, who it was yes you did um yeah. there are some bookshelves along the walls with some completely unreadable titles and spines and the contents is even more unreadable you didn't however find a legendary item there a dagger um, also found a completely ordinary chest filled with children's books, um, which were completely readable. Um, Bree is still glaring at Rodak, being like, give, give, Dagger. I will. Wait, does rock, paper, scissors exist in this universe? Yeah, well, uh, if you can come up with a good enough name that's, that's um, comparable to Spock. What's that? Rock, paper, scissors, Spock. Lizard. Lizard. The rock, paper, Lizard. scissors, lizard, spark from Big Bang Theory. Lizard yes. Spark. If you can come up with something. <laughs> what is the, the critical role one? It was Boulder Parchment Shears. Okay, yeah. Boulder Parchment Shears. <laughs> okay. I will are play. That, are we, are, are we going to be that un unoriginal? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's play Boulder Parchment Shears for the bookmark. What do we roll for that? <laughs> oh, God. Um. Okay, so I'm going to say, are you going to roll a d3? Number one is boulder. Number two is parchment. Number three is shears. So you'll have okay. to type it in. Uh, remind yeah. me again how we do that. Um, so sla oh. slash r, one d3. Let's make this a best of three. That's how, as always, how, how glorious games of rock, paper, scissors are done. Mm. That was an unrecognized command. What? Oh, I, I don't think I spaced it. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so it's a, a parchment and shears. Free wins. Best of three. Yeah, free wins. <laughs> but we're doing a best of three or we're just doing yeah. it there? Best, yeah, of three. best of three. Boulder, Parchment, uh, Shear. Our legendary item. Come on, guys. Okay, Rodak wins the second one. It's 1-1. One, one. This is oh, it. Oh, it's Evans. The Decider. Uh, not quite the Decider. Well, actually, yes. Alright, Rodak, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, <laughs> go. He looks, Free is looking at you with fire in his eyes. Mm. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty intense. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we just let's do over if it's a tie. Okay. One, two, three. So <laughs> it's Again. a tie. Okay, <laughs> so I would say at this point, with one victory each, two ties, it's undecided. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, one more. Okay, go, go for it. I feel like I'm gonna lose this, but you know, it's great. <laughs> you. <laughs> Parchment, cheers. I yes. Free. Yes. I win. I win. Cheers. All right. The book must be yours. Fair is fair. Rules are rules, even in the. Yeah. yeah. Second yes. floor. You, 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 you guys hear from across the room, free celebrating out like, yes. It's like he just won the. D&D lottery. Mm. Okay, you now have a bookmark in your inventory. He, he, he looks at you ugly. Oh. I can... Do, do you have any achievement slots, my husband? <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have any, 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 any extra magical little I caverns that you can achieve to something to? I have no idea. I did, I did get you the freaking broom. Yeah, I have no idea if I have attunement slots. I just want the thing. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm pretty sure you can attune just... at least three things. I think that's how it works. Am, am I right, okay. Mr. DM? Yeah, you, yeah yes, you three things, things, yes. Yeah, I'm only attuned to my okay. cloak, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna oh, attune. That's... I have the Comet Staff. Do I need attunement for that? Yes. Okay, so that's one. And then... I guess the room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Marceau... Is, is, will that dagger be added to my inventory? It's there already. Oh, it is? Yes. But on the list it should be. Exploring peeps. Where is it? Um, it's yeah. the last thing in your inventory, and it should be the last attack on your list. Bookmark. Oh, that's attack on list. Yeah, I see it now. Plus nine to attack. You're, you're strong. I still, need to, still need time, time to attune to it, but yeah. Um, yeah, and I should actually fix that to dex, because it is a finance weapon. So plus nine to attack for you. That is a nasty yeah. piece of equipment you got there. Okay. I can I I forget about that stiletto that kept getting forgotten about now. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just see. I have so many weapons. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> no, because I have a quarter staff. Then I have another quarter staff. Then I have darts. I have a longbow. I have comet staff. I have a dagger. Then I have a dagger of them. So. <laughs> yeah. And I no, no. Have... I mostly just punch things, though. No, knowing, knowing you, I'd be surprised if you weren't hoard, hoarding a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Grodak is definitely a hoarder. <laughs> Alright, so Tusa, as you look down the long hallway here, you see at the end of this sort of passage, there seems to be candlelight, some tables, a counter. And just as you're looking round about here, there is what appears to be a shimmering cloaked figure that looks vaguely familiar. Appear oh. just for a second. Uh, where? Would you mind pinging it on the map? Oh, I remember. It's in, it's in the chat. I remember. Okay, this this is me passing my memory, and memory check. Didn't this guy show up like over over the ridge, like near us, after we unfortunately lost the other plot hook? Yes, he did. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, uh, you were also there. You were also there that far back. Do you remember when we lost the bard? Oh. This yeah, guy showed I up can... like over the ridge, like near us. But I can't see the guy. Uh, in, in the I chat. Guess I remember it's, this guy. It's in the She's chat. She's got a little Oh, uh, this guy. This guy. Yeah, he showed up. It, it, it's pretty much just us three plus Lilith that would remember that. Like, no one else was here was uh, here that early. That's true. It's pointing towards the candlelight, so these lights here. Yes. Um, so, okay, it's actually hard to see from where you are. Um, up, from, up, up from the hallway, it was, it's here. Your, your ping doesn't show on the map, for some reason. Normally it makes like that like, yellow thing. I am. Um, I was on the GM layer, like like a like a noob. I, it's over here. Yes. For you, 
Freeze looking down the corridor and then turned to Rodak being like, oh, Rodak, I think your wife is wandering off without this. Yeah. I'm Do I recognize this creature? Make an inside check. Uh, I mean, I know, I know from a player's point of view, I know that. But can I uh, can, can I walk up to her asking like, what are you looking at? You vaguely remember that this thing was also pointing to you guys um, when you lost the board to the explosion and the. It was actually to the ooze. But yeah, it was a, there was an ooze, but remember you went to investigate an explosion and then oh, there was ooze. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, my 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 browser was lagging and I have now realized I have been left behind in the room. No, you can go <laughs> away. Can, uh, can, uh, I don't know where yeah. you guys went. Uh, I'll take you. Go, go, there we go, go. I want to come with, I was coming with the whole time, sorry about, sorry about that. Yeah. My computer was yeah, freaking I out. I dumped you a message, I'm like, hey, Tom, do you want to join me down this corridor? And then I just <laughs> left, so then I just started I, I have decided like, that I'm, <laughs> I am want to join and just keep moving and make some progress or whatever's happening. Yeah, yeah participate. Okay, so now, um, wait, I, I can't see the, the demon thing. Do I yeah, it was just... Thing? It was in the chat, it didn't it? No, I mean uh, on the map. Uh, oh, it's... it's basically where you where you all are standing now. Oh, okay, cool. Um... He, he just disappeared. Bro just disappeared. Okay. Yeah, I was pointing to this candlelight um, for, for some reason. I, I mean... Over, over here. Sorry, it was over here. Here. It feels like it's... That doesn't want me to... to... <laughs> Like, kind of, seeing that it's at the end of the table, does it feel like it wants me to join for dinner? Okay, so, what you see here is a long dinner table, um, covered with cups, saucers, plates, crockery, cutlery, everything you can th think of in complete disarray. In the middle, there's a complete tea set. Alice in Wonderland style. But everything is sort of out of place and mixed up. There's... there's Knives where there should be teaspoons. And everything's there. It's just in the wrong order. The, all the chairs are sort of standing as if somebody got up in a hurry and left. Nothing's pushed in. It's completely um, disheveled. There are um, three cantalabras standing on the table. All three of them lit. Uh, so each cantalabra is three candles. So nine candles. All of them lit. The candles look new, even though the flames are burning quite brightly and unexpectedly. Um, my, my mom instinct like just kind of kicks it and I start cleaning. Okay. So I just kind of like start like setting the plates like how it should be and I'm like, yeah, Roda, come, 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 to just be a little more helpful and we just like kind of like reset the table um, and then, yeah, maybe just like clean it up to, to whatever dinner was supposed to happen here. Okay. okay. Cool. Perfect. Okay, as you guys do that, um, you can hear steam um, erupt from the oven over here. This area is a kitchen right back here. Um, things are boiling or bubbling. Um, there is a cauldron in the corner, not so set on a fire. Um, but as you are, re uh, you know, fixing the table and you hear the boiling and you hear the, the steam, the cauldron, you can hear a knock. Like somebody knocking on a door, but from the inside of the the um, cauldron. Oh, you know. Can I? So I want to say, uh, Tomlin came over here because I like I smelt the food and the the kitchen scene, and I just felt a yearning for food and remembering how tasting and eating felt like. So I came over here mm. to just take a look at it, and upon hearing the knock. I would like to ask the DM, sorry, just give me a sec. Uh, can I roll a saving throw? Against? Against, let's say, better judgment. Okay, make an intelligence say or wisdom saving throw for me, because I would say wisdom is your judgment, maybe. 24 is pretty high. Okay, that I merely acknowledge that the cauldron's knocking, and I'm like, there's, there's some count, the sounds coming from the cauldron in the kitchen. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with it. 
Okay, do, do you need help to come and li lift the lid? Or are you, are you I, moving, I don't know, maybe there's something in it. I don't know, I'm not sure. I wouldn't touch it. We've seen so much weird shit in this house. Um, also, you can't eat. Yeah, but the voices are telling me to open it, but I, I don't I don't want to open it. I'm scared of it. Okay, so... Oh, well, if you don't the, want the voice, to, then you don't have to. The okay. voice inside okay. my head, coming from the staff, I would assume is just wanting to prove myself and to kind of... I, I assume it's just bickering. Um, and it would never let me kind of live down the moment if I don't um, own up. So I will instead move over to the cauldron and okay. lift the lid. Quick, quickly, before you do that, do you finish setting the table? Or are you going to... Yeah. Okay. I think we should. I think we should. Yeah. Okay, so as well, yeah, sure. the final fork comes into place, and I read my own notes here that said that they'll never, never figure this out. Um... <laughs> Um, a bright light bursts open in the ceiling above the table, like the light of an infinitely bright chandelier. And descending out of this light is the most elaborate, intricate, intricate sword you've ever seen, with a rose on oh, the hilt. Mine. Um, wait. <laughs> mine. Wait, right up. Wait. Um, as this great sword settles on uh, the table. Mine, 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 mine. Wait. You're a monk. Do you even use Alt. a sword? Alt. That's what no, the sword looks well. like. Wait, where is it? Oh, yeah, I see. That sword oh, is so wow. magnificent, it takes long to load. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, like... Oh, like Oh, okay. I'm just gonna put his arm, put his arm out. Like, wait, like, hold on. We've been like, okay, wait, hold on. Just a moment, Rodak. No. I think we've been through enough to know not to trust random swords. Like the whole time, no, just been, like, just we've been getting one. quite an amazing guidance from this house so far. Just, yeah. just think of like, you've got this amazing dagger. I've got an, an amazing amulet. Um, it just looks like the house just wants it, to help us. Yeah. So, uh, generally, where on the table did it land? Um, perfectly in the middle. Um, as yeah, if it's like, part uh, of the decoration. Um, it's, I'll just kind of like... Uh, vertical uh, or horizontal? Um, down the length of it. It's quite big. Uh, so, oh, I'll not... just kind of like mosey on. Um, like, I'm, I'm going to try and like... Well, I can't really put my token perfectly on it. Like trying to like... Wiggle in between the chairs to the table itself. Just kind of look at this thing. I've inspected it. Okay. Uh, make an arcana check for me. I'm also, gonna, I'm also gonna stare at it like this. I will add this just because it's not that good of a card, just so we can add it to something. How did we roll the same does, roll? Uh, does, you did the natural, does the natural aspect of it kind of like. Um, Bring up any. Um... Yes, make a nature check for me, please. Yeah, uh, does, does nature kind of things make any sense to me? Uh, good old spell. Oh, oh good, good thing I did use it, actually. Are you going to use a card, Tisa? Are you saving your card? Um, I used, I'm use. i using mine to get a 17. Yeah, let's see. Let's I, just... I can use mine, but. I don't know if I should this early. Uh, Are we all going to use our cards on the same roll? <laughs> no, I'll, okay. I'll leave it. All right. It might be useful, but I'll leave it. Okay, so I'll tell you this quickly, too. So, From your nature point of view, um, the rose on there, it's glass. The vines are maybe a bit more decorative than natural. This is somebody who... Oh, this is a thing created by somebody who values the natural world but doesn't care for its uglier aspects. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not a druidic item. It's more a, yeah. a posery like to druid. Like maker, yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Um, so Free, you think this is some fancy-ass sword from a fey court, perhaps, from um, the outer, outer realms well, it's, it's still it's inner realm, but it's it's where the fairies reside. This might be one of their fancy-ass swords. 
He has like a great sword, right? This is a great sword. It, it's... Yeah, he, he looked... hmm? No, no, go for it. He, he looks at me a little like, hmm, it's a bit out of my league, but... Mine. Uh... <laughs> Tomlin, do you swing a great sword? He, look, well, he well, looks at you. Strength. He looks at you like not entertained, like, Brodok, I have never even seen you use a weapon other than your fist. Well, this will let me use knife. <laughs> before before <laughs> Brodok says anything else, I just grab the sword's hilt. Okay, make a I'm charisma gonna... saving throw. I'm gonna oh. grab it as well. Okay, make a charisma saving throw. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, 1417, okay. So, um,. Both of you, as you grab it, um, you feel a lightning ground itself through you, um, and you take... Oh, God. Each take six points of lightning damage. Okay. Um, and for the next minute, neither of you are able to say a word. I'm going to reach out and touch it again. Make another Christmas yeah. saving throw. Okay. <laughs> uh, free, free just kind of like being a free, free gives, gives out a silent m m mute gasp and like I'm tries gonna, to like swat his hand use my card. Oh, okay. That's a, card. That's, a, that's a void card, I think. Okay, so um, you take hold of it. You feel like it wants to shock you, um, but you sort of, with a force of will, tell it to calm down. You're able to lift the sword. Um, and you hear a voice in your head saying, What? You? I don't think you're worthy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Tell me, my friend, do you have evil thoughts? I can feel the them. You are not for me. You are not worthy of my grandeur. Well, I feel like you and I can work together to find a mutual understanding. Well, um, yes. things. you are free walk step things. Free walks <laughs> over, tries to like take the sword from me. Like he's still mute. He's been like <coughs> staring daggers at you and like still mouthing at being like you don't even. This comes like a real moment. Between you guys, come on, guys, stop bickering. It was first the knife and now it's the sword. Can we just share things equally and continue on? Our journey. Uh, we've got loads of things to share between us. All we need to fight over every single thing that we pick up. Um, so, free. You you got the hilt. You got the dagger. So this one will go over to Rodak now. Um, he looks at you somewhat distraught. Try then tries to speak. Realizes he's mute and like <laughs> kind of like <laughs> tries mm -hmm. speaking anyway. Like half half signing because him being like. Trying to get the message across, I'm not even sure if it works. If it's gonna work. It's the working. best part is I can read lips. I've got the observant feet, so I should <laughs> be able to understand exactly yes, what you're saying. You should. He's trying to vaguely say it's like you know he's just gonna bring in the horde and not use it. Okay. Oh Rodak, you hear the the oh, it's what is here? No. Oh, uh, no. I heard a ping. It was just in my head. So in your head, Rodak, you hear the sword say, um very well, you will have to convince me. No evilness, or I will give you the shock treatment. I am the greatest sword ever forged in the Fey courts. I am the Snicker Snack. Snicker Snack. And he's just gonna gleam at it with like the biggest eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. This is the only sword of its kind. It is a legendary item. Um, it's just shy of an artifact, pretty much. Um, oh. It uses your charisma f modifier instead of your strength or dexterity. Yeah, I have like one charisma. I know. <laughs> just, just, just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, that was fine. And ah. so, yeah, it also requires attunement. Okay, no, that's cool. I'll let you do it. A sword, this, this that feels would like... be wonderful for me. <laughs> this feels like a Lilith item, and I'm pretty sure they were try looking into like multi-classing as a fire. If I remember uh, that right. Yes, but Lilith's got evil in her character, and you can't attune to it if you've got any evil. 
Uh, Otherwise, sword I'm... kills you. Oh. I think I'm technically chaotic neutral. Yes, I check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God I didn't take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, meanwhile, the cauldron has another knock on it. It's knocking yeah, again. I was, make... I, was, I was making my way back. Um, that's what I want to do. Maybe um, just stay behind me in case something big jumps out and we need to pop this lid back down. Okay. Wait, was I'll, I'll come with you. Okay. Um, I don't have a little snack in my inventory. I will put it there. Um, how, quick question. How long can I mute for? Um, it should be done by now. Oh, uh, yay. <laughs> also, also, sorry, quick question. I don't want to interrupt the roleplay. Why is it rolling a lot of these, like, saves, like, twice? Um, I think it's, it's you have... Uh, advantage. No. I think one... Is it disadvantage or advantage? Why do I have advantage? Save. We just ignore it and take the highest, usually. Yeah. And you, I usually... You uh, normally take the first one. Yeah, you normally take the first but, one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not the highest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For advantage rolls, you take the one that's like grayed out a little bit. That's a nor that's the normal roll. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I'm trying to figure out where they moved the toggle to because they changed where that is on the thing. Uh, but... Oh, nice. there's a toggle yeah. on the page. I yeah. see. Oh, okay. It's, toggle. It, it's above your speed, actually. Okay, cool. Okay. I see. I see. It's, it's above your speed, yeah. so you just toggle, toggle at the normal. Okay, so the cauldron in question is this one over here. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I'll. Uh, kind of like roll up my sleeve just a little bit, um, and then uh, there will be like a slight hesitation, but knowing that she's not going to hear the end of this bickering, um, she'll just grab grab the lid um, and okay. almost give like grab the lid and take like a step back. Okay. Instead of grabbing the lid and put my head in there. Okay, so you open it. Yeah. Nothing. The, the, the lid is quite cold. The cauldron's cold. It's nothing for a moment. And you peer in, and it seems to be full of bones, humanoid bones. In the middle of this pile of bones, sitting right on top, is a skull. And as you look down at the skull, the skull says, Greetings! Hello? Is it, is it roomy? I don't think so. I'm quite cramped. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you What are you doing in there, buddy? Well, I'm not cooking. Yeah. What? Were, were you the one cooking, and now you're inside of the pot? Not exactly. I was in a place full of dinosaurs, and then a long story. I uh, could you pour me out? Uh, at the moment, I feel safe with you right there. Um, yeah, how about we talk a little bit first and you might convince me to take oh. it out instead of just... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Very true. Very true. I don't know you. You don't know me. Um, the friend behind you looks very dead. <laughs> I mean... Not as dead as me, but still... <gasps> Takes yeah, one to know one. Spectrum. I mean, you're right. I I have, I have to accept. Yeah, I've learned to right. accept how I look now. Oh, don't be sad, my friend. Remember, undead, yes. Unperson, no. That gives me a lot more hope. <laughs> okay. Real quick. Uh, investigation I rolled for seeing if this door is safe. Um, it is locked. Not trapped, okay, but to locked. The keyhole. Okay, look to the keyhole. Um, yes, make a perception check for it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> um, so, you were in a place of dinosaurs and you were just all of a sudden in a pot, or do you know at least? what is outside of bot life at the moment well bot life is a great name for an album i just put that out there um yeah. no um I, I i was in that place and then a lady who came out of a portal kidnapped me made me cook for a while 
Um, I was not good at it. I, have, I told her Sanjeev is not for cooking. And But anyway, I, for punishment, mostly more for my talking, more than my cooking ability, I was placed in the spot. And I've been knocking for a long time. Yeah, I, I, just slowly, I'll just put the lid back on. Um, as um, as you do that, he still keeps talking and just gets muffled. So, I am so relieved that you are here and you are not the creepy ghost girl who runs through these wall, or these halls, screaming with a monster upstairs. Monster? Yeah, it, it feels like you are as helpful as you could ever be. Um, so maybe just simmer for a while. Did you um, say there's a monster then... upstairs? Oh, it, most indeed. <laughs> Giant monster. Giant monster? What what type of giant monster? Very bad yeah. giant monster. It eats souls. I mean, if it's bad, then I guess we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, if it's, if it's good at being a monster, that's the problem. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what you did there. Nice. Um, does, does this ring like uh, sound like as if it's the celestial beast that is referring to that we've heard about from the from the doll? Yes. Okay. Um, just uh, I just cracked the lid just a little bit, um, and then uh, just uh, what else do you know about this monster besides eating souls? All right. Uh, the more it... information you give, the more likely you are to get out. Oh, I, I am I full of. To look around to Tomlin and just shake my head as if that's not going to happen. But, um, mm. yeah. Well, you I have look a... hopeful. <laughs> you have a trustworthy face, my friend. Um, well, I would say that um, yeah, the the lady of the house imprisoned the giant monster into a uh, what is that pointy thing? What would you call it? Um, it's not a cu- it's not a cube, but it it goes pointy. Pyramid. No, it will come to me. It will come to uh, tetrahedron. No, I, I think I left tetrahedron on a different co- continent. He was a bore. But anyway, I mean, she put him in a pointy thing, giant pointy thing, to keep him powering the place. And by now, Pretty he must sharp. be. He must be real. Maybe. No, no, no. Stone. Mm. Okay. He is powering the place. Like an obelisk? Like an obelisk? No, that sounds like it's eaten too much. (laughs) Or is that obese? I can never remember. So it's not a big, uh, like a big statue obelisk, black obelisk? No, that that one is outside. I would not open that one. Oh. You'll recall... Yeah. yeah. Across the room, you can hear Free kind of yelling out, like, uh, over here, everyone. And when you look over, you can see him, like, picking the lock on the door. Yeah, I looked through, through the keyhole here, and uh, someone's coffin appears to be in here. A coffin? Well, don't go in. Why? Why? A coffin. <laughs> no! Don't open yeah, no. a demon coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume, uh, <laughs> um, basically pushes free out of the way. I just want to take a look through the hole myself. I'm make, curious. Make a perception check. Get higher than nine. Okay. <laughs> well, I I, if you say it that way, it definitely does not going to happen. <coughs> uh, where's perce- there's perception. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, I think your rules are set to DM only. Yeah. Oh. oh. That means I get to roll again. Wink, wink. No. Real quick for the future, uh, Tom. I saw, I saw, I, I changed it. Yeah, it was talking about that too. Well, that was an eight. So, what was it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my modifier is more than that, so I'll, I'll come with it over, um, and uh, also just peer through the keyhole to see if I can see anything. You're all higher than a nine. <laughs> I'm higher than a nine. I think... We all just get to the door and step back. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the, the, the cauldron is... the person in the cauldron is still talking. Muffled. 
Yeah. I will yeah, go back and listen not. more to the guy in case he reveals any more information. And and then I said, yeah. inter interdimensional travel is quite bad. And as a natural well, turning. Tell me about it. How did you get sent here? Well, I, I was with a group of adventurers who called themselves the Peacebringers, which was badly spelt and badly chosen. Um, they set most things on fire, let me tell you. <laughs> Even me! But that is another story, and I am mostly fireproof. Oh, boy, the peace oh, I'm gonna look we, at the we have had a, We've had a 27-year-old. Yeah, I'm, I'm whispering. Please, please talk okay. amongst yourselves. So, uh, so just, just to, uh, uh, just to um, confirm, this skull is just sitting in the cauldron. On, on top of a whole bunch of bones. It's like on, a, on top of a whole, whole bunch of bones. It's like I a would like... disassembled okay. ske skeleton. Sorry, yeah, go for it. So I want to ask him, like, so if I take your skull with me without the rest of you, do you know what happens? Well, I am much shorter than I used to be. <laughs> but can you leave the rest of your body behind, or is it, like, painful in any way? Only emotionally, and I am used to those scars. Oh, oh, no, okay. I will I make a great you... poet one day. I, I thought maybe you could help us through this house, but I don't want to give you emotional pain, so I think I'll leave you in here. Okay. Well, would they be fine with being Unless out you'd of be heart? fine with me carrying you around while you help us through this place? Oh, certainly. As long as you don't go into any of the scary rooms. We're gonna go into the scary rooms, but I'll leave you outside. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. Just turn me away, because I will have no neck. Okay, I would, yes. like to, I would like to pick the skull up and just hold him... Like, I don't know, put him on my shoulder or something, balance him nicely, just in a somewhere in my armor. <laughs> oh, I am... Balance him on that hand handle. <laughs> my hand, yeah. You are so kind. You are my favorite. I will be most I aggrieved. Just, I just when... feel bad for leaving your bones behind. This is, oh, it's fine. They were getting creaky anyway. Well, um, I mean, I, I will be most aggrieved when I hear your painful death. Oh, no. Oh, I hope that's a while away, but thank you for feeling bad about me. Can I, I am, ask your name? I am Sanjeev. Who are you? I'm Tomlin, but I think you can call me Tom. Ah, uh, friends <laughs> already. Oh, yeah. This guy said his name like uh, Rangeev. Sanjeev. Zan Zan Sanjeev. Is that right? Is that what he said? Yeah, sorry, I'm typing for everybody. Uh, multitasking. His name is Sanjeev. Sanjeev, San yeah. Sanjeev. Okay. I've got Sanjeev with me. He knows more about this place than we do. I feel like he'll help us just accomplish our goals and in, in general. <sighs> Sanjeev Cookacow. That's an amazing name. Thank you. So he just, this is like scratching the back of his head in confusion and just walks over back to two seconds. Alright, just so, let me see. Yeah. So, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, yeah, it just, um, <clears throat> it, I mean, it opens like a, through the keyhole, I can see everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, it looks like, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure what Pinky House this is, but there are chains against the wall. Um, mm -hmm. And there are also two coffins there, so I'm, I'm not sure whether you kind of like take a nap after you've been changed. I don't. I'm not 100% sure what you're getting <laughs> for. I don't see any leather on the floor, but I mean, whoa, okay, can hide that <laughs> somewhere. But um, it it looks like it looks like a fun room. Um, yeah. It would I, be I my. I didn't see most of the other stuff. I just saw the one coffin. I, I think yeah. I, I, I mean. Um, you want to go and have a look? Um, it looks like maybe we should Airbnb this place. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, sure. Right. Just, just give me a give me a quick moment, and I'll uh, finish my work on unlocking this door. Hold on. Give me a sec. Did we open this? Oh, there, right there. I'm gonna ride to the sex room. <laughs> you, I, Sanjeev, do you know what's in that room? 
Um, well, I wouldn't listen to anything the little girl says if I was you. Okay. No, just... We actually don't have the little girl with us right now. Oh, no. Uh, you are talking about the evil doll. I wouldn't bother with that. The doll is evil. Actually, actually, I knew actually, it was stop, evil. Actually, Bree stops everything he's doing. He walked over this and was like, okay, actually, do you know who or what that doll is? Well, I know the mistress was most displeased. Displeased with you or with the doll? No, 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 with the doll. With me in general. It's mostly because of my talking. Well, do you know anything about the doll that you can tell us? Well, um, she is much weaker in her doll form. In her doll what? Mm. Form. In her doll form. Her the doll. doll form? What, what is a, what's her normal form? Well, there are two. It, it was a, a layer punishment by my mistress. What is the first of the two? Oh, you know, not so nice. Slightly... I don't know. Goatee. Goatee? Goatee? Like, goatee like the animal, or goatee like the half-animal, half-man type of thing? Yes, that second one. Lots oh, of... Yeah, yeah, like satire. Oh, satire. What, what layer is the doll? Is it the second Balls. or third? Oh, uh, the doll is the most harmless one, and then uh, the goat is the slightly more harmless, and then there's the terrible crab clawed monstrosity that comes less. Late. I no. don't like the crab clawed monstrosity. Yeah, I, don't... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the crab clawed monstrosity either. Well, uh, when, I, when I say the little girl, I mean the two. There is the one in the coffin in there. Not good. She is actually 200 years old. Um, but then there's the little ghost one who likes playing tricks, who died in the bed back there. And which one is the doll? Neither. Okay. Let it is a most evil monster. Does it does it feel like like a Baphomet type of creature? Yes. Like a yes. Like a like as in this is this is a grandeur type of thing because everything is quite over the top in this doll. Yes. It wouldn't just be like a mediocre type of thing. It no. would be like a badass yes. situation. You will remember that you found a demonomicon on the bottom floor. Yeah. There by the shield thing. Yep. Yeah. Do uh, we meet? Given what this thing just said, do we bother with this door? I'd rather not. Oh, good. Um, I am also afraid of vampires, which is ironic. See, in my case, if you are afraid vampire. of a vampire, it is a phobia. Because <laughs> the worst I can do is, um, you know, suck. Um, but for me, I have no veins. I am fine, yet I am afraid. Um, okay, would yeah. it be, oh, Mr. Sanjeev. Um, yes? Person... The ghosts or the girls or whatever you said was in this room. But they attack us on sight. Oh, in here they must be really hungry, yes. This one will attack you. The other one is mischievous. Mm. That's not. <laughs> but I, yeah. um, yes, maybe... I see two coffins in there. Mm. Um, so, so the one you say is a vampire that's locked in. What's the other one for? Do you know? Oh, that was her father. But he just degenerated a long time ago. He... What's left will probably be angry, but fine. Okay. Um, do we mm-hmm. risk uh, guessing the wrong coffin? Ooh, Actually, is yeah, there a way to tell the coffins apart? Well, why are we considering opening the coffin? <laughs> Let's not do it. Well, if if the father is uh, capable of being talked to, maybe he has valuable information for us. Also, maybe he's buried with cool shit. And let I'm just gonna step back and let all of you die. Well, (laughs) as far as I know, uh, as my mistress, um, I want to say bought, but that is not strictly true. Uh, The house originally belonged to this vampire and his daughter. So how did Mm. she get the house? Oh, many tricks. My mistress was full of them. Okay. Um, guys, this you house know... is giving us cool shit. Do we want to mess with a good thing? Right? 
Maybe I would rather leave this uh, later you know slash, the... in, slash out of character when Sky is here. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Sanjeev, um, do you know where... Hmm, do you know where the main rooms are on this floor instead of kind of like sending us down these weird, um, I don't want to open the pantry door and like, wait, wait, waste my time. Do you maybe know? Oh, um, I, I can do this. I know what you are saying. So, uh, Mr. T- Mr. Tom, if you will please rotate my head for I have no neck and I will tell you what's in each direction. Okay. What is in this direction? Where are you pinging? I cannot see where you are pinging. Does it not work? Oh, there. No. Oh, yes, I see it. I can see where you are pointing me. <clears throat> that is the mistress's main bedroom. Okay. I have never been I, in there. I um, can't see my own pings, by the way. I'm just holding alt and clicking. Oh, uh, you don't have to hold alt. You. you click and click and hold. Oh, uh, oh I see. A curious thought. Okay. Cool. So this this way is the mistress's bedroom. Yes. I was never allowed in there. She said no bones. And what's in this room? Um, trying to see your ping. Where? Please do it again. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that is the terrible sex room. <laughs> a sex room. I I mean that, torture that's chamber. What my perception was. I went to the <laughs> one keyhole and saw the other room. And how how would you describe the room we came from down here? Uh, oh, oh um, you you are talking about the library, and then there is yeah. the, the the chamber of um, uh, what do you call it when you make potions? Apothecary. Alchemy. Alchemy. Uh, Apothecary. Uh, 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 Alchemy. Yes, that is the one. Oh, yes, it is. It is full of many. Words. If you walk in there without the correct password, you go poof and reappear in a painful way, like in a cauldron, for example. Oh. And there's a there's uh, an uh, org- uh, organ here in the corner, in the previous room. Do you know if there's anything weird or cursed about it? Oh yes, everything. <laughs> You're gonna find mar- 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 for the for the apothecary <laughs> lab where you go poof. Is he talking about like this door over here that we passed up in the hallway? Um. So, yeah. um. So these two doors on the 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 hallway here lead to a balcony, so um, and outside. That's it's not rooms, but they are locked, so you can't gain in. Uh, okay. Uh, which one's the apothecary? Um. It's this glyphy room back here. Okay. Uh, I see. Hmm. And, uh, so, he, the, the, the organ is cursed? Oh, yes, completely. We were told never and under, under no circumstances are we supposed to play a single key. Not even once. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Free speaks up from across the room. So, well, uh, my, my wife happened to play two. Two what? Notes. Oh, dear. We are all doomed. <laughs> Why? Oh, it depends. I mean, some of them could make things turn a different color, and you were always think, "Oh, I always thought they were this color." You never knew the difference, or some could lead to the apocalypse. The apocalypse. <laughs> okay. even, even in this realm. Oh yes, particularly this realm. Yes. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Well, then the stairs, the stairs to no. the next room. With that, what happens here behind the bed? Um, wait, wait, wait. Are you? Oh yeah, that, that's the front balcony. Okay. There is a third floor though, and that's where the monster is. Um, Real quick. There. Where, yeah. Where, where does the like the stairs to the third floor go? Just out of. Um, floor. you guys were in the stairwell before. Yeah. Uh, there was another step leading another way up. He just explored this this floor first. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah. we can just continue up with the spirally spiral. Yes. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> there's still still cool rooms. Yes. To, to, to go through here. Yeah. Let's add uh, to to. Uh, could, uh, sorry. Could you make sense of any of the dream books? I could not either. Apparently, you need to dream. Uh, um. 
do you mean the, the children's storybooks? Oh no, one, no, 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 those are specifically the children's books that are for children. Could you, could you show me the dream books? Um, being a circle of dreams druid, does that help me at all? Does it give me any background? Yes, so proficiency for this. Um, I was hoping you would ask that. Um, it does. If you take a book and you sleep upon it, there is a percentage chance that you will wake up with the knowledge of the book the next day. Yeah, oh, that sounds great. Do you have to do one book at a time? Uh, yeah, that's fine. And, um, and the downside is you don't know which book you're picking. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that feels like gambling. That sounds great. Yeah. Is there downside yeah. to the knowledge you can acquire? Well, I mean, you could wake up and it's James Blunt's autobiography. Um, <laughs> Why do we hate James Blunt so much? On this? What will be the d d name for James Blunt? <laughs> Jonathan good... Unsharpened. Yes. Jonathan Untuned. No wait, that sounds that sounds like just like a DJ. Um, <gasps> unsharpened's good. Un, un, unenchanted. Why is James not an appropriate D and D name? Yeah, yeah but... mm -hmm. it feels like generic. <laughs> well, we're gonna hold on. Jonathan okay, bludgeoning. Give me mind. Yes, Jonathan uh, bludgeoner. <laughs> One, one thing. Just Jonathan Bludgeon. Two, two, sir. You said yeah. that weird figure from before I was pointing at this table, right? Yeah. Do you think it really was just telling us about that sword, or do you think there's something more here? I mean, that's valid, eh? Hey? It, 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 technically, it, it was just standing here, and I would assume like it was making making ready for a feast, but it was actually pointing to the candlelight over here. Um, as far as I know, right? Yeah. Yes. Wait, where, exactly is the can where exactly is the candle? Um, so sorry, the candles it was pointing to were the, the three, it was pointing in the direction of the candlelight is what I said. Um, on, uh, the, okay, sorry, on the, so on the big uh, table, there are three candelabras with, with, um, uh, so it does feel like it was just helping us out in this direction, or do, do I feel now in hindsight that that was the message trying to convey? Make an insight check. Uh, I'd, I'd like to join in on this. I want... uh, One day. Uh, okay. Are you going to no, use it? I did it! A good insight roll! <laughs> it's too uh, it. Sorry, um, my, I think my Discord cut out for a couple seconds. What, what, what's happening? Um, they're trying to figure out why the, the hooded figure was pointing in this direction. Okay. At, there. at this table. Tusa, so did you say you're going to use a card? Uh, no. Okay, uh, okay. No, I'm still, I'm still on. So with 16, um, you do realize it was from this perspective. I'm going to just draw... Um, it was standing here and pointing that way. It's a very male symbol there. <laughs> pointing that yes, way. Yeah. Um, that is as much as you know. You only assume it's pointing at the table. Just out of curiosity, all the chairs were weird, right? What yes. What if I pull this one out a little further, sit in it, and scoot up? And then, like, scoot it up, like, in position at, the ta at that point in the table. Okay. Uh, you sit at the table. You also get a nice, clear view down the whole table and the other chair here, and the big bedroom door back here, which would have been exactly where the guy was pointing. But as you sit and pull up, um, the table sort of animates. The teapot starts to float and pours a cup of tea, piping hot magically. Um, some biscuits oh. appear on your plate. Oh boy. I... Thank you. Does it look edible? It looks nice. You've not smelled fresh oh. tea in a long time. Uh, I, I really haven't, have I? You, you can see he's kind of like entranced, or uh, not entranced, but like interested in this. Mm -hmm. I, I it must be rude, Tomlin, but. I'll join in with others. I haven't had tea in a while. You know, fix up the cup and take a small sip. It's good tea. 
I just look longingly at the people drinking tea. <laughs> it's good. I'll I, drink I a little more. Shall sip tea. Okay, so is, there is, a... is this a chest right here? Or is it like more like a uh, like a wardrobe? It's a wardrobe with a wardrobe with a cupboard. Yeah, it's exactly a cupboard where the, the cups and things would go if you pack them away. Yeah. Um, the um, As you guys sit, the same service for you. Tea and biscuits. Wait, um, does Rodak still have disgustingly good table manners? No. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> because it was one time I rolled a net 20 on table manners somehow. <laughs> Go for it, let's see. Uh, what do I roll? Is it performance? I think it was performance, yes. I think we should have asked Tom on if, we, if this table is gonna, like, try and hook, hook us in like this. Oh, <laughs> no, not Tom, let's bring it out. No. Um, so you, you think you do, but your elbows are on the table. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I just give him, like, a scuff, like a look, uh, as if we go <laughs> to the man that we're gonna teach our child. Um, and, um, yeah, I just see room of room for improvement. Um, but the but the cookies are nice. The, the, the tea is lovely. Warms the soul after, for a change. Yeah, after enjoying the tea, Freak picks up one of the biscuits and he looks at it like with the kind of look that only someone who very rarely in their entire life has had the has had the luxury of a good meal. Looks he look that's that's how he looks at this biscuit. <laughs> and he just puts a bit of it in his mouth and starts eating it. Yeah, Rodak is just gonna stare at it because he's never had a biscuit before. <laughs> and then just lick it, smell it, and then try and eat it. Like, oh my god. Oh my Oh. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> is there nothing? Are we starting to like feel anything different? Is there anything happening to us? What okay. the more time we spend at this table? Everybody make a constitution now, okay. Um it's fine. <laughs> Um, it is actually a functional table, and it's nice. It, it, it feeds us. It it all I tastes. Get up and then yes. Consider that my table manners are done, so I like put the chair in. And the moment that I get up from the table, yeah. um, I'm not considering myself seated there anymore. So I just like grab a few of these cookies and just like just stuck it in my like pockets and uh, um, mm. yeah, just just forgo all table manners. Okay. Um, yeah, just just getting my pockets full. Okay. Um, yeah, the road is long. <laughs> so there was only three cookies per person. Um, I would, I would eat one and stuff too. I guess biscuits. Sorry. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm American. Sorry. A different a different thing comes to mind when you say biscuit. Yeah. No. Like biscuit. What kind of biscuits are we talking about? Because I'm picturing eat some more. Yes, that's it. Uh, yeah. Me too. Not American style biscuits. Mm. No, not, not American biscuits. So those are scones. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and like when I when I heard biscuit, I'll just put this in general. I imagine these th these things. Yeah, those are scones. This side. Yeah. <laughs> Scones. Yeah, no, yeah that's a scone. Yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> Free will get up from the table show just as much courtesy and uh, manners as Tusa did. Like, he, you know, gently pushes his chair in when, when he gets up, sets his portion of the table back up. He kind of just silently gives a whisper of thanks to the table. And he's like, well, as delightful as that was, I, I, I think I've got it. He was the figure that I was just pointing over there. And he points the big I, door. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it might. Maybe it was. It, it could have been the sword, but maybe he was pointing at the door. Free. I, I think you should maybe um, just have a closer look. Do just first be careful. Um, this yeah. house is weird and creepy. Um, uh, all right. So um, right and true. Rodak my true curiosity is winning, so I'm coming over to check out what's happening as well. Awesome. All right. So, Rodak, as you stand up, the sword tells you in your head, Ah, we had a magnificent feast of many biscuits and cookies when we slayed the Jabberwock. <laughs> you slayed the Jabberwock? I'd like to slay the Jabberwock. Indeed. It is where I got my name. I am the most powerful vorpal blade in the world. Well... Yeah, I'm just going to stop trying to peer through keyholes. 
Okay, so uh, the great thing about this big door, it doesn't have a keyhole. So you're looking no, straight I, at I the wood. Um, Can we push it under the door? So, yeah, firstly, the door itself. Um, it is elaborately carved. Um, the image on there, taking up most of the surface, is of a cottage walking about on chicken legs. Oh, fuck. So, Sanjeev, you said this was the mistress's room, yes? Indeed. I was not allowed to bring my bones in there. So you mean Tasha's room? Yes! Which means, no, guys. Please say again, you are breaking up. Which means now, Sky's room. I am not understanding what you are saying, but I, I would not if I had a neck. He giggles. He said, don't worry about it. I just look to, I, I put my hands on the door ready to open it, just look back towards everyone else, like, you know, being like, we're doing this kind of, kind of look. Uh, did did, did well, you check for, like, any kind of, like, me mechanisms on the door? Or well, like any... it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have a keyhole or anything. It's just two big doors. Can I sense if the door is in any way magically sealed or protected? Make an Arcana check for him, please. I should have detect magic on. So for anything in a thirty, okay. uh, is it a thirty foot radius? Yes. Basis? All right. So there is illusion magic on the door. Um, yeah. Wait, let me just double check something real quick. <sighs> yes, and ab abjuration. On the um, door itself. Abjuration is for protection, right? Yes. Um, yeah, we just convey that to to my compatriots, just saying that I, okay. I detect the the, the, the door gives the um, it gives quite a good illusion. Uh, it might be this ch chicken house, or um, it might be something different. Maybe it isn't a door at all, um, mm. but um, it definitely has abjuration magic on it as well. The door will not go down lightly. It will have to. It would like to protect itself. What if we break the wall next to it? Well, Sky would get on you for that, but also I feel like the house wouldn't be happy with us if we did that. Okay, fine. Would these, um, would these glyphs and stuff count as, uh, curses or anything like that? Um, no. So with your Arcana check, these are pretty rudimentary. It's mostly to see if somebody opens the door, it... Uh, so there's some something to check if the door has been opened, and then something to trigger something. Okay, because okay, I just want to. I'm just going to click two abilities to you. I just want to ask if if the any of either of these two would help the psalm, whatever the store is doing. Uh, the second one will. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, I would like to. Just like states, like uh, I, I think I'll try to um, make this door more safe for us to go through. I don't know what awaits us when we open it, but I feel like any magic sealing something is dangerous. Oh. And I'd like to use one of my spell slots to counterspell. Uh, cast, cast counterspell. Oh. Okay. So do you want to open this? So as you as you do that, the door looks slightly less shiny and polished, and looks slightly older and drier. Um, whatever you did seemed to have succeeded. So door's good now. Door good now. Once once again, I'll put my hand on it and look back at everyone, being like, "All right, are we doing this?" Yeah, I'll just stand. Yeah, uh, I'll just <clears throat> stand next to my wife because mm -hmm. if all I'd of you die, up, I'd be standing next to my wife, but she's not here. Yeah. Okay, so as the door opens, um, oh, where is my thing? 
All right, so as the door opens, it reveals a large, spacious room, a bedroom. There's a luxuriant carpet. There's a desk. Um, there's some nice smelling steam coming from some sort of device. Um, right here, in the middle of the room, there appeared to be a paper ribbon um, hanging from the ceiling. And as you as you look up, there's the stubs of thousands of other paper ribbons that were stuck there before that have since torn off. But as you open the door, the single ribbon tears off and floats towards you. Oh, is, is this ribbon dangerous? Um, it does appear to have writing on it, so possibly. Uh, I think this is this is a reaction time, fellas. I believe this has been established that Tisa can't read. I've asked Aisney to write messages in the past, so Tisa's not going to grab the letter. It doesn't help her. Okay. I, I'll, 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 it's, it's, I'll grab the letter. Okay. I'll grab the letter. So it, it appears to be, uh, it's just a narrow strip, very long, with um, capital letters one after the other. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything as you catch it, and it says this. Along, okay. Okay, yeah, so uh, it doesn't say the first piece. That's just so I remember what it is. But the everything in capital is what it says. So, so it's a gathering in Maitland. Um, oh, everybody can see this. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's. Uh, Italian gathering with the summons from summons from Grimaldi. Wait a minute, yeah. hold on, hold on. With, with, with the few words I can see... It's not as it seems to be. Wait, wait, Tomlin, uh, you're holding that... I assume you're holding that in your hand, like, in a way where it's, like, generally we can all kind of see a little bit of it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Free begins to, like, see a few words from that, and his eyes narrow a bit, and his eyebrows furrow, and he just grabs that out of your hand and be like, wait a minute. He just grabs it, takes it from you, and starts reading himself. <laughs> oh, Rude. Rude. Oh, no. You, you oh, can tell... This you is tell like... his, he is bamboozled. He is, this is catching him off guard, like, dear God. Uh, this is literally like, just like keeping track of everything that we've done so far. This is like, uh, it's just almost yes. like all of the, yeah, like step by step what we've done so far. Someone's been stalking your, 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 your party. Yes, yes, they have. But he, 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 sees, he sees how you've kind of been back on. He's like, he, his, his expression immediately melts away. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you thank you for the apology oh this is our but it's also telling some of our future future no, he hasn't read that you can tell he hasn't read that far down yet he's just been surprised most of the time like, what do you mean about our future mm. I, I mean it it indicates that we will go to the mountains to the blood sisters and the snowmen um and the wind witches um there are so many so many choices and so many secrets of doom on the wings that they need to slay. It tells of of the choices and the path and the choices that we will have to make very soon, it feels like. Um, is, it fine, is it fine if I hold on to this ribbon? Yeah. So, so certainly. So it's the Thank prophecy you. ribbon. Yeah, so if I can have that in my little information thing that would be nice okay it should be in oh, where is it um handouts important documents it should be under there all right yeah. i don't know how you guys managed to read this so quickly because my eyes are like <laughs> i caught near the beginning uh summons from grimaldi and i was like hold the fuck up yeah i, I mean i read a bunch of it but it meant nothing to me <laughs> yeah no, sorry, I prepared this bit before the new guys last year. And, <laughs> and then we could, couldn't play for a while, so we are... Yeah. Okay, so, before you is Tasha's bedroom. Um, you can also see there's a large comfy bed, looking like the most comfy bed you've seen um, in the whole house. Um, there is a stat there's a garg gargoyle in the corner and a skull on the bedside table. I wouldn't touch it. 
Is there like is that like a bag? I like wanna bag? ask. I wanna ask Sanjeev. Is that a friend of yours? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I remember him to be taller, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I would you like to approach the skull and ask to ask it if it is also sentient and can talk. Okay, so um, as you approach the skull, you see it seems to be quite an inanimate skull. Um, free as you're reaching for the bag, it looks like quite a nice leather bag full of something um, as you lean towards it you need to put a hand on the bed and the bed is so nice and soft and feathery and yielding and squishy and sticky as it grows teeth and begins oh. to attack and we will carry on from there next time as I have the worst luck with these freaking creeps. With these freaking I've been healed. <laughs> that ah! <laughs> is a greater mimic. It is a bed. A greater mimic. I already lost my fingers, mimic. I've got nine fingers. Oh, nine. I'm out. God. Damn it, Marcel, yeah. you can't keep doing this to me. <laughs> you hey, can't I keep getting away with this. I didn't I didn't say, you know, go over to the bed. You did that all by yourself. God, hey, no. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's did awesome. Did I get enough time to see if these were dream books or not? Um, those are real I... books. They look like journals. Okay, okay so... I'll leave them. Can we say that when we pick this up? I'm looking at the hallway, juxtaposed to where that, this room is and where that piano is where everyone else is. I can scream loud enough for everyone to hear us. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, that is if they're not stuck in front of the organ, entranced into a hypnotic lull. Mm. Yeah, I never had to answer I, that. <laughs> I thought you were setting up like, a, oh, the bed is so nice and soft, you're, you're, you're enticed to just stay there. No, this this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, we've not had combat in a while. <laughs> we haven't. I haven't like attuned any of my new magic stuff. No. Neither uh, have I. I don't. I haven't attuned the knife. <laughs> uh, and we didn't long rest. We should have long rested. 